Okay, folks, we're going to try something new today. Well, something new for me anyway. You've probably seen a million of these. But what I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to fix a problem that's happening inside this power drill. Um, essentially, the brushes have worn out. So I'm going to go in here and place them. This drill came into my possession from my dad, who started to realise that it was on its way out and um, so decided to get a new one but I'm a massive advocate of fixing things rather than replacing them so as soon as I've done this hopefully it will work pretty much as good as new anyway so what I'm going to be replacing are these little brushes essentially you have two of these and they produce a contact on the motor itself which then, you know, spins the motor. I'm not an expert in these things. There are probably much better people out there to uh, go and ask. Or even videos out there on YouTube. So there's no point in me explaining how a motor works because someone else can do it better. So essentially what's happened is that these little things have worn down inside of here. And that is producing a really bad contact onto the motor. Which in turn is making it sort of judder and skip. So first things first, I'm going to um, take this and unscrew everything. Oh, this is completely the wrong bit in the end of this flipping screwdriver. Bear with me a moment. Okay, so hopefully now we can get into the guts of the beast. Ta da! Right, so let's see what we've got here. So, right down here is where the contacts actually go around. I can actually see a bit of. Um, a close-up shot of that. If it would like to focus, these bits right here are the little contacts right in there which touch the back of the motor here. So essentially what we've got to do is get into these housings and um, pull the old one out and put the new one in. Now I'm going to use my trusted little multi-tool. The top one's nice and easy. As you can see there's just a little clip holding the thing together. I don't know if I can actually zoom in on here. Let's pull out the old contact or brush. As you can kind of tell, it's um, a little bit on the worn side compared to the new one. Now, the only major difference I can see on these is that the spring is massive on that. But that's quite a... The old one's quite a sort of a strong spring while this one's quite gentle so I'm hoping that this will all sort of fit in there All right, just try and put in the new one All right, I'm just going to try and put the little clip over and see if it actually holds it on if it doesn't we're in trouble but if it does it's alright this extra long spring is causing me a little bit of hassle but if I can just get that in there there we go, that's in. There's your old one. Now the difficult one is down here. Because you can see there's a flipping trigger guard in the way. Trigger guard? All I need to do really is move that out of the way. So I can get into it. I wonder if I undo... See it's being held in down here by these two screws and they seem to be the only thing that's kind of stopping me from wiggling it out of place so I'm going to there we go just do exactly the same thing I bet there's someone out, someone out there at the moment sort of shaking their head at me being like we well, should do it this way it's much easier well more than willing to learn and uh, this one is incredibly annoying 
out it pops. Yeah, look at that. This will be the most annoying one to try and fit because you can't navigate around all this plastic guard that's going on. Finger that in a little bit. I think that's going to hold it. The trigger guard should sit underneath it anyway and stop it from popping out regardless. Why do I keep calling it a trigger guard? I don't even know what you call it. It's is the switch, isn't it? This is where I put it all back together again and it doesn't work. And then I'm without a power drill, which would be a little bit frustrating. So here we go. I'm just going to tighten back in the power lead. Well, it sounds better already. Right, anyway. Anyway, way we're going to be sure is by putting this guy back on, so... Right, let's hope this doesn't blow up. Okay, yeah, that's, that is absolutely night and day to me. I don't know if you can see it in the video. It's the trouble. I don't know if you can hear it in the audio, but it feels a lot smoother. There's a lot less of it going, duh. So, if your um, power drill's being funny, feels like something's not right in it, try replacing these guys. One major um, red flag for you needing to replace these brushes is um, if you're actually putting power through your power drill or any other drill for that matter anything that uses a brush based motor so you're pressing down the trigger nothing's happening in here it's not turning or doing anything you're like what's going on what's going on and then actually give that a bit of a turn manually and then if you hit it again and it starts spinning that's because your brushes need replacing it's also another thing that I didn't catch on camera that this thing was doing. Yeah, instead of going out and um, buying myself a £90 uh, power drill, got my dad's old one, replaced these which were about, uh, about 99p off of eBay for 10 of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other 8, but who knows. Anyway, so for 99p I've got a fully work in really good quality drill. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, this is the first time I've actually done this sort of camera in front of face while trying to do stuff behind the camera kind of deal that I see so many uh, people on YouTube actually doing and um, it's incredibly annoying. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna actually make some sort of rig that holds up the camera rather than having a tripod between my legs, because I think it's just really freaking annoying. But don't go away yet, because I have a little extra bit on the end of this video I'm going to add, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. No scripting! Great idea! Happy New Year, folks! Of course, if you're watching this six months after I post it, that's going to be really out of context. So with New Year's comes, traditionally, new goals. And so I thought, in the spirit of the season, I should set out some goals for this year for this channel. Um, so I think I'll start off with goal number one. By the end of this year, I want about a thousand subscribers. That's a lot of people watching my crack content. Also, I think it would be awesome if by the end of this year I can have some actually proper high quality camera equipment. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen because, you know, I live on a tight budget, but um, I'm going to try my best. I've got a couple more goals than just how I want to improve my cameramanship. The one-to-one uh, -one cameramanship needs to be a little bit improved, I think. But I think those are things that I'm going to sort of 
work on as I go along, I think. I'm kind of trial by firing myself. But anyway, in the near future, I've got some um, cool ideas I want to do. I want to finish my desk. I've kind of sourced everything I need to actually get that done. Um, I will talk more about that in that video. Um, other than that, I've got some other little bits and pieces coming up, kind of DIY stuff. I've actually got a list somewhere. Yeah, interesting stuff. Um, I'm also going to be making a bit of camera equipment myself. So, yeah, if I don't have to buy it, I'll make it. If it's cheaper. Sometimes it's actually cheaper to buy it. But I'd rather make it. If I can make it out of old crap, I'll make it out of old crap. So, yeah, that wraps it up. Um, again, Happy New Year. And I um, hope to see you in some videos soon. Bye.